Hi everyone and um, welcome to this tarot read. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to jump on into it. And remember guys, uh, this is going to be a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. That's just fine. Uh, also, we're going to draw uh, another card at the end of the read, just one card, and it's going to be like an energy card just to sum everything up. So let's see what these beautiful elemental cards have to say. So we have North. This is like looking for direction, looking for your North Star. Somebody's looking for direction or finding a direction. Maybe looking to start a new chapter or a new adventure in their life. Mm. Endurance. So there is a situation that somebody is either going through right now or going to be going through, and it's not an easy one. It is not an easy one. Uh, what's keeping somebody going is this North Star, this this Sun card, this direction, this, this blessing, some sort of a blessing to focus on, focus their energy on positivity, on light, on a forward way of being. And this might be somebody who they have in their life, or this might be a goal that they have that they're trying to attain as well. Oh, we do have South. This is like adventure, a new adventure. Somebody is on is on some sort of a new path. It is some sort of a new adventure. It's, I don't feel like it's all like happy-go-lucky. It's not all rainbows and ponies. There's a, it's a rocky one. This new adventure is a rocky one for someone. Someone sort of struggling through some sort of transitional time or working towards something new, but they have this, this sun. This sun is like their North Star. This is like this blessing, this thing that they're after that's keeping them focused during this time when things get rocky, uh, when they're feeling a little bit worn out, when they feel like uh, maybe sad because something went south in their life. And that might have been the catalyst for a transitional time too. Something coming to an end, some chapter coming to an end. But this North Star, whatever it is to someone, this blessing, this light, this guiding light for them, it's like it keeps them grounded. It keeps them moving forward. There is a whole lot of change happening in somebody's life, though, especially with this, this outer core, this fluidity. I feel like just when somebody thinks they know what's going on or they get their feet under them, there's like some sort of big change, big transitional something coming along. It's like it's keeping them on their toes. And that's why we have the gravity card. It's like having trouble staying grounded during this time, having to endure a lot of change, having to endure a lot of uncertainty. Air motion. Yeah, things are feeling up in the air. But it's because there's a chapter that's coming to an end. It's because there's some sort of completion happening. This is a transitional time. I don't feel, I don't feel like it's negative. I feel like there's negative aspects of it. I can feel that from the cards. I can feel that somebody's, like you said, especially with that rock, that endurance card, that like it probably brings a lot of stress and somebody's stressed out about having to endure another change, having to endure more uncertainty. But in these cards... I just keep feeling like positivity and like anticipation. Anticipation is is what's coming out most to me, which tells me that there's something good coming. There's something big, some big change, like everything happening for a reason. This is taking someone to something positive, somewhere that they would not have otherwise gone had this change not come into play. We're going to grab some of these gilded tarot here to help clarify this read. All right, so this Hierophant, <laughs> I keep getting like spirit from this Hierophant today. And he doesn't always mean that to me. A lot of times he can speak to tra uh, traditional values. He can speak to sort of a mentor. Uh, I keep seeing like spirit, spirit, like spirit has a hand in something. Spirit is guiding, spirit is watching over, spirit is trying to help manifest uh, opportunities. And to sort of help support somebody through this transitional time. And I feel like this is a time where somebody is feeling alone. They're feeling alone. They're feeling introspective. They're feeling maybe heavy, like this is a burden that they have to carry by themselves. 
and I do feel like it does involve uh, having to look after others to a certain degree because we have this this queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles I feel that these are actually energies of people and and this queen of pentacles is somebody who's more of like a caregiver in a caregiver role they're very generous they're very kind so I feel like this is oh see and that makes sense this nine of pentacles whoever this energy is whoever it represents this is someone's north star that when shit gets tough they know that their focus is to help make this person's life good. And this might be somebody's child too. And their child becomes their focus after going through something rough. It's like making sure that, you know, their child has what they need. Their child is, or they're staying strong for their child. And this might be where our rock and our endurance comes in. It's like this helps to keep them grounded. It helps to keep them focused during this time, this transitional time, moving into something, trying to build something new, uh, maybe trying to navigate something that feels very chaotic and up in the air. It's like that one constant, that one thing that they can focus on, that positive thing that brings them joy. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. It does represent abundance. And this is like an abundance that somebody is, somebody is working towards. I, like I see it, but I don't feel it. So it's not present. It's not in the moment. This might be part of the goal that somebody's working towards. I do see the word home in my mind. And sometimes this 10 of pentacles can represent buying or selling a home. We might be looking at uh, a transitional time where we're actually looking to purchase a home or to find a new home for, for the family, for the family to live in. And we did have to walk away from something in the past. The Six of Cups is the past. This is part of what we're dealing with. This is part of what we've lost. It had a level of stability and predictability to it. And it might even be the home as well. And we had to move away from where we were living for quite a while. And sort of the living situation is feeling a little up in the air. Or just knowing that we're having to leave it as part of the transition. And sort of looking for somewhere else to be. This strength card is very much indicative of this rock and this endurance. That somebody's having to really dig deep during this time. Really dig deep to find that personal strength. Uh, and and to like stay looking strong on the outside. It's not just on the inside. It's like this person is trying to, they're trying to show that they're a rock so that the secondary energy doesn't really notice that sometimes they feel like things are chaotic and uncertain and there is worry there. That page of wands, he usually heralds good news or communication coming. I do feel like it's going to be good news. This page of wands is going to bring something forward. This is part of this change that's coming, this transition that's coming. There is something positive and that's why I was feeling like that anticipation too with all of this change. There is something coming and it's whatever, all this hard work that this person has been putting in to, to persevering, to trying to go with the flow, uh, to trying to stay strong and not let a sort of like chaotic next of, of change get to them. It will be rewarded and it is something that they're wanting. This might be an opportunity for this home, this home that they're seeking out. The Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. So it's what this person is, is looking for. It's what they're working towards. There is an opportunity coming for them to attain this. And we do have new beginnings all over the place. So the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Ace of Wands can speak to a new life. So this could be a new chapter in life. This is going to speak to some sort of finance or career as well. This is, oh, and this might be the good news that gives somebody the opportunity to move forward with this wish fulfillment and attain this goal that they're looking for. It is going to be from somebody else. There is going to be another energy involved, somebody who helps them. Well, I don't know that this is a friend, a family member, or a romance, uh, but it's another energy who's going to bring this opportunity forward to them, who sees that they're trying to work to build, they're trying to work to change, they're trying to uh, sort of uh, stay, stay grounded, stay strong during this, and it is going to be rewarded with an offering. And this offering is the thing that's going to help to take this person to the goal that they're looking towards. I 
And this line of card speaks to it too, that two of wands, there is a partnership that's going to be involved here, a partnership in helping someone to move forward on their path, their chosen path. And there will be a reason to celebrate when this comes forward. This emperor energy, it does represent the person who's trying to help. It doesn't mean this person is like the best of the best. But this person is somebody who has something that they can offer. And who is generous and who is kind and to wa who wants to help somebody out. Who's doing the hard work to try and move in a positive direction. It's like they recognize that. They recognize that somebody's struggling. But they recognize that somebody's strong and has a lot to offer and is capable. And they have an opportunity that they can offer. And they are willing to do that. And so that's who this emperor is going to represent. And this might be a new career. This might be a job. This might be somebody who comes forward who has like a home to sell. This is going to be something within this person's goal. That's going to help them to get to where they want. It's going to help them to attain this wish fulfillment and moving on to the next step. And then I see the word stability in my mind. So whatever this opportunity is that comes forward, it's an opportunity for this person to find stability so that things no longer feel up in the air. They're going to feel like they can get their feet under them. They're going to feel steady again. I feel like this is something that they feel like they've been lacking for a while. I'm going to grab a few more cards here too. Yeah, see this is somebody who does have a lot to offer. They're going to see that this person is has honesty, has integrity. They have all these beautiful qualities about them. Because that's what that Queen of Swords is a lot of the time. She is that, that honesty, that integrity, someone who you can count on. Whatever they say, you can take them at their word. And you know that they're speaking the truth. You know that they walk their talk. Uh, they are going through a rough time. This is going to be representative of the person who is going through this transitional time and this change, who is going through a Five of Pentacles. Uh, a Five of Pentacles is like a rough time financially, sort of feeling, feeling like there's something lacking in their life. And this is, for them, it's that stability. I do feel like in some way, shape or form, it's going to have to do with their living situation and their home life. I'm possibly needing a career to be able to change that. But this King of Pentacles is the same energy as the Emperor coming forward. Somebody who has something to give. Somebody who is in a position to help. And somebody who is more than willing and glad to be able to help. This, this Queen of Swords energy. We'll grab a few more of these cards and then we're going to pull an energy card. So this is a learning opportunity for someone uh, and not just what they went through in the past. But I see the words like new opportunity, new opportunity, like learning to value new opportunity, learning to value change, even though it's scary, even though sometimes it's shitty. It's like seeing how this change and it might take time down the road, being able to look back and seeing how this change was beneficial in the long run, how it helped this person to sort of rebuild, uh, possibly purge something that no longer served them, uh, to find find a new sense of self, to build their self-esteem back up, and self-empowerment. Being able to accept that a chapter has come to an end, whatever this was from the past, and I feel like it's also speaking to the transitional time too. And like the relief of the transitional time coming to an end with a new opportunity coming forward, bringing positivity, bringing hope, bringing light with it, bringing stability as well. I feel like that devil card is what we're leaving in the past too. And part of it is not just shit from the past. It's actually the transitional time because the transitional time, like I said, I can feel like this person has a lot weighing on their shoulders and it wears you down. That kind of shit living like that for a while, it wears you down. And so this person, they are in need of a relief. When this opportunity comes forward, this is going to be like a weight off their shoulders. This is going to be being able to, to walk away from worry being able to find stability, being able to find hope and positivity for looking towards the future. We're going to grab one of these. Oh, and we actually had two pop out, so we'll use both of them. White stick. 
Oh, a protector and protection. So definitely whoever this person is, and this is why I was feeling spirit here too, uh, has a hand in this. They have spiritual protection while they're going through all of this. Uh, so spirit is working sort of behind the scenes to try and help this person be connected to a new opportunity. It's like have faith, have faith, hang in there because there are powers at work that are trying to help you and protect you during this rough time. And these sea turtles, you know, think about turtles, how they go with the flow. They go with the changing tides. They ride the currents. And this is part of what this is. This is like a universal current. We're riding this current and it's fucking rocky at times. It is rocky. It is shitty. It can be extremely dark and uncertain at times. But it will always get us to where we need to go. It's like just learning to trust in the universe, learning to trust in spirit, these opportunities will come and everything happens for a reason. And this is what I very much feel in these cards. And I feel a lot of protection from spirit too. Hanging out with this person on their journey, supporting them through the shit, celebrating with them when things work out well and some new opportunity is about to come. Relief is about to come to whoever this person is. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed that read. If you did enjoy it, if you found value in it, please hit that like button or that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel out. Have a great day guys. Take care.